Hello and welcome to another Lexmoto ride out video. Today we are out with the Lexmoto Riviera 125cc, a fantastic retro scooter in the Lexmoto lineup. Uh, today we are out on the black version, however, if the black isn't your preference, we also have a stunning blue version. Let's take a walk around and have a look at some of the features that this bike has. As we can see from uh, the outset, that classic styling really does look exceptional. It's not out and out sort of completely classic Vespa, but certainly stylized uh, in a way that just looks nice, classic, refined, I think would be the words that I throw at. Uh, we've got some nice little details, a little chrome surround there on the mudguard. Indicators are standard. Um, incandescent bulbs rather than LED. There is a little LED strip across the bottom of the headlight there for your daytime running lights. As we move around, got sort of where you'll be spending most of your time. And we do have a nice little nifty compartment. Let's have a look at that one, shall we? So you open that one up. There is a little compartment there. Offers some nice storage. You can pop a couple of things in. Press that one closed and make our way around the back single sided engine transmission the Riviera decals on the back and we've got this grab handle that can also be used as a luggage rack to mount um, luggage boxes obviously uh, rear light cluster we do have an LED assembly there for both the rear lights and the indicators now storage wise under the seat for this one you can get to by the main ignition, so it's got a, a unilock on it. And we can see my cleaning cloth. This is where you fill up the fuel. We've got a little user's manual and toolkit under there. Helmet is not going to fit in there unless it's a particularly small one. However, by not filling a helmet, you do gain access to a little plug socket. So you'll be able to add a little cigarette lighter style. Uh, plug in there, charge up phone and other little gadgets like that. If we uh, go to the front, we can have a look at the controls. Right hand side, we do have the option of hazard lights on there. We've got kill switch and we have starter button. On the left hand side, we have horn indicators and lighting options. Speedometer. Battery gauge, fuel gauge, speedo, full beam, indicators, pretty much everything that you need to get going. Uh, the options for stand on this bike consist of a side stand as well as a centre stand as well. Look at that, isn't that handy? Ta-da! Hopping onto the bike. It's nice, reasonably comfortable. I'm about six foot, my feet can fit comfortably uh, in the console there. So I guess we should probably head out for a ride. Starts on the button. Let's head out, shall we? Right, now as we take off on this bike, you'll find that we are uh, able to get up to speed nice and easy. Uh, this bike together with the Diablo and the Urban all share the same motor and that's a slightly more powerful version of the standard GY6 that we use on the other scooters in the range. Now this engine design is probably more closely related to a sim style motor. It performs exceptionally well and is among the uh, most responsive scooter engines we've got. Now the engine is still two valve and it is still a CVT transmission using a centrifugal clutch system. And essentially what that means is it's got some uh, roller weights in there and it's essentially twist and go automatic. That's, that's kind of what I'm aiming at here. But it's nice, it's accessible. 
it's good for new riders who don't want to go with gears. Because obviously, who wants to worry about gears when you've got to concentrate on looking so damn amazing on this bike? So you pop up to speed. It's nice and throaty, nice and stable as well. So suspension on this bike is standard telescopic forks on the front and a single shock on the rear of this one. They do a great job of making sure the bike's absorbing all the bumps, making for a more comfortable ride overall. It's got quite a high seated position. I'm about six foot and it's pretty comfortable. We do offer some other bikes that are a little bit shorter, um, but this one's definitely worth a sit on to, to check whether it's right for you. Obviously one thing with scooters, when you check in them for height, always make sure you're doing so off the center stand because otherwise it'll be a different height. Now the uh, Riviera is produced by the Longia factory. And they're a factory that's been dealing with Lexamoto for a number of years exceptionally good supplier for us they make some real nice high quality bikes and they're actually the factory that produce uh, Auto Traders AM 50cc scooter of the year which was the Lexmoto Echo and they also produce the Diablo and the Urban in the Lexmoto lineup so real pedigree for quality in the range With the uh, weather we're having at the moment, there is no better time to be taken to two wheels. It is simply stunning. Certainly with models like this, you can use them as a real handy commuter machine. And that real quick acceleration through having the automatic twist and go throttle is uh, going to be really handy for nipping through traffic and being first one off the lights which you know is, is, is as much a pride thing as anything else you don't want to be the last person off the light Psh. now uh, that chap obviously you can uh, see by his attire and the lack of an engine that he's a cyclist the acceleration and the handling on this when you when you ride this compared to the Vienna or the Milano or even way back the Verona it's a no-brainer this is a fantastic bike it's, it's pretty open and shut that's, that's all you can really say about it da -da 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 well I really hope that you guys have enjoyed coming along for a ride with me today. I've certainly enjoyed bringing you along. Uh, you've been great company. Uh, I like to think that we've experienced a bond. And I really hope that we can continue this further into, you know, maybe a future video. You know, I, I don't want to rush into things too quickly, but I was kind of hoping you might consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon for notifications but you know if, if, if I'm moving too fast for you then I'll understand that I, I won't be offended um, if, if that's too much then maybe you just want to check out our uh, posts on Instagram or Facebook oh you know quality stuff um, get to find out a little bit more about what we're doing with Lexmoto the UK's premier learner legal brand and I think it would be nice I think you'd enjoy it and we, we'd both benefit from it and certainly until next time I uh, I wish you good day have a good one